come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We appreciate it. It's a movie review show where every Saturday night a movie is chosen round robin by one of the internet radio superstars, and we talk about it ad nauseum for your listening pleasure please give us a review or a rating wherever you found us whether it be itunes stitcher radio google play tune in radio or wherever you found us you can also find us on face or follow us on facebook facebook.com <laughs> freak show on, focused on the zima oh, yeah, sorry, on twitter I'm by the zima in front of us at set freak show <laughs> i was also focused on the zima, zima. <laughs> Does uh, to you. by you yeah. can get a hold of us uh, by email saturday night freak show at yahoo.com and you can find us on instagram we're Saturday Night Freak Show. And tonight we are drinking... Zima! Zima! Welcome back. Because it's, some it's back. of us are hipsters. And <laughs> it's back. Right, because it's we back. Go. We're, we're, reliving, we're reliving our uh, days of getting drunk at 12, 12 yeah. or 13 years old. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm one of those guys where if something comes back... I have to do it. Oh, yeah. We all, we all remember the Ecto Cooler yeah. incident Ecto-cooler, last summer. Uh, Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. Yep. I was there. No. This. Anything no. that comes no. back, Surge. I'm like, got to yeah. do it. Were you about to do Surge? it at least once. Now Oreo O's are Surge. coming back. All right. Yeah. But I got to do it. What, what's the point? Why are we alive if we can't have these things? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If we can't. You know what, Sean? Why are we alive I can't have Zima. Can't I want to live. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Exactly. <laughs> if I can't go out and have a nice, it's, cool, crisp, it's, refreshing Zima, Zima. Yeah. then what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show brought to you by Zima. <laughs> Zima. <laughs> Very tasty. Have you had your Zima today? <laughs> refreshing. Well, thank you for providing the Zima. Zima. Ah, yes. I'm getting it. So it's back for the summer. That's basically what we're saying is Zima is making a limited mm-hmm. time return. Turn to mm-hmm. your store shelf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yep. a one time appearance at the freak show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only I've, review you I, need right there. I mean, I've been uh, drinking a lot of Zima over the past two weeks, believe it or not. So I'm. I'm <laughs> Sean says I'm that, good. but he has like a storage unit full of just Zima <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, you stock up and just like, shh, mm, yeah. yes. Uh, who's Sean? Who are we? Who are these oh, internet radio yeah. superstars? Uh, Sean. Holly. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight, aside from watching the or li- uh, drinking the Zima that was provided by Sean, thanks. We Sean. also watched a movie chosen the Zima by of movies <laughs> chosen by Michaela. <laughs> what did we Zima watch tonight? <laughs> I watched Bloodsport. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're still drinking the Zima. Yeah, so, the Zima, the the Zima's getting us. Blood. All right, so Bloodsport was made in the year 1988. And uh, do we know who the director on this was? Uh, it was Newt, uh, Newt Arnold. Oh, yes, Newt, Newt, Newt Arnold. You know, Newt, Arnold. You know, Newt Arnold, that guy. <laughs> and <laughs> specifically, this comes to us from who? Can- Canon Films Group, because we're in the summer what? of Canon, which if you have not checked out our previous episodes this summer, we've done Over the Top, Breaking. And this is our third one, right? Yeah, that's yep. it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I feel like we've done so yeah. many more. I yeah. know. I feel like yeah. we have. That's, no, that's this it. is our Jesus. third entry right, into the, the summer of canon. canon. Yeah. I mean, we've done so many canon movies, yeah. but yeah. officially. Yeah. But yeah, if you go back even one. farther, you'll find Masters of the Universe and Life Force, which are also canon right. films. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I guess for the folks who are just joining us on mm-hmm. this uh, canon adventure, what's the appeal of canon films to you, <laughs> Michaela? Canon Film Groups was like, was Blum? House of the 80s, but made notably uh, lesser quality films than Blumhouse usually and for a does. Lot more money. Yep. Yeah. Um, they uh, they kind of would hop on trends of the time and just capitalize on them, and then so the Zima, of the, time. the Zima. Yes, yeah. they you know it's the theme tonight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, as it, with Over the Top, we talked about how like they kind of thought arm wrestling was going to be a thing, so they mm-hmm. made a movie about it with Break In. They saw Break Dancing was really taking off in the mid 80s, and they made two movies about it. This one was clearly low rent to enter the dragon. Did you hear the story? I can't remember if we mentioned this on one of the pre, pre, prior podcasts that uh, Canon Films was basically like they had like any script that came into them went into one of two piles. Mm-hmm. It was like they read the script and they're like, that's the Chuck Norris pile. Or that's the Charles Bronson pot. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. Every single script mm-hmm. until I venture they met Jean Claude Van Damme. Van Damme. Can, can we the, the 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 movie the biopic of Canon Films 
that, that there are two documentaries also, about it. Yeah. Just, Electric Boogaloo. Well, no, not documentary. I'm talking about like the fictional narrative. Oh, like an American Hustle type movie, but sure. about Canon films. Yes, yeah, that'd be great. where they oh, have the two piles, it. and then they're just like, hmm, and mm-hmm. they make that third pile. Yeah, <laughs> for Jean Claude. <laughs> yeah, they're like, no. Do you remember that kid from Breaking and the Leotard in the background? That wouldn't stop What's dancing. The, What's yeah. he doing? Yeah, the one who literally yeah. wouldn't stop like, dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. come here. And then he brings the guy down to a gym, and they're just watching Jean Claude Van Damme like work out and everything. It's like, hey, kid, come here. Well, Want to be you, in movies? Did you hear how he got into movies? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the the, the kick? Yeah, yeah. Well, he I did think his, was his to, leg thing. Yeah, either to Menachem Golan or uh, Yoram Globus, the two guys who ran Canon Films. He apparently approached one or both of them in a hallway somewhere and said, "Look, what I can do." And put the his foot up like right to their head. I'd like, like to said, imagine he approached both, <laughs> yeah, and had both feet up in their face. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, "Whoa!" They're like you get a movie. They're like yeah. call me on Monday, kid, and we'll, we'll talk about this. Yeah, mm-hmm. but ironically, uh, Van Damme, aside from Breaking, had been in a movie the year prior to Bloodsport, from which he was fired. What? Oh, oh what? yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yes, he, he was. wasn't happy about that. <laughs> Any guesses? Was it a canon film or no? No. 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 He was fired from? Yes. yes. He was uh he was supposed to be a certain costumed alien. In a big budget Hollywood movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? He was supposed to be the predator? Yes. No. He was the predator. He was, he was the, the predator? predator. He was the predator. I didn't no. know that. Yes, yes. No. Oh, he was the predator. <laughs> So there's a story though yeah. about this. This is kind of you know I mean a little this bit of our at the beginner of our bullet sport episode, but yes. uh, so Van Dam just wanted to be in movies and you know knew somebody who knew somebody who was working on the Predator thing, and they said, well, we need somebody to be in this costume down in Central America. So the Van Dam shows up and they have this costume. Now the original Predator sculpt, right? The, the the creature was designed by Steve Wang, who worked mm-hmm. on the Giver, which mm-hmm. we covered on this show. Right. And it was this, I mean, the design of it's like this know, lizard. It's a lizard. It's definitely more lizard than anything else. It's got a big snapper head. It looks yeah. like oh, that's it's, weird. it's basically a version of a Power Rangers bad guy. Yeah. Watch the, I would say. Watch the Giver. You'll understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's in that, the Giver. It's in the Giver. Yeah. Yeah. It shows up in the, the Giver. Giver. Yeah. Yes. I but think I've crazy. seen the test footage of that, and it like flops around yes, all weird. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. It costume. looks really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. real bad. Well, it's it was bad. They had a red version of it, a red leotard version of the shape that the uh, actor Van Dam was going to wear in the jungle, so that they could do the special effect of the camouflage yes. later mm-hmm. on. So basically, instead of a green screen, they were going to do a red right thing mm-hmm. that they could mm-hmm. take out. Van Dam saw this thing. It was like apparently, according to some reports. On the set, freaking out, you know, because this to one, legend, one, we'll say, yeah. <laughs> but I just read like a 30th anniversary of Predator uh-huh. thing, and everybody involved in that movie, they had like Bill Duke, Sonny Landham, uh, the guy who played uh, Poncho, uh, the director, yeah. Every single one of them had a different story on <laughs> why Van Damme was let go. That's amazing. Oh, like there wow. was no consensus. It was, I mean, they're all over the place. It was, Wonderful. you know, he had to go do blood sport, you know, or whatever. He got blood sport, so he wanted out of the thing. Uh, uh, that he freaked he was, out about the costume. And he's like, "Fuck this!" And uh, there was like five different variations. I, I like the version where he just gets pissy because he can't. He's in a costume and can't do any of his. Uh, it's martial hot. Arts he can't do the hot. splits. Yeah, yeah, can't do any of that. Yeah, because he's like, "I want to be in movies. So I don't want to be in a costume." Yeah. And they're like, "But they'll know it's you by the way you move." Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Didn't work out, no, so he was fired from Predator, although um, I found a picture of him on set with uh, Carl Weathers with his arm cut off. So that amazing. was the yeah. day that oh, yeah. he was there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. That's good then, of course, Stan Winston redesigned the creature like while mm-hmm. they were shooting. And, and the rest shut is down. history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so thank Van God Dam, he got fired. Right. He right. moved yeah. on to things it's, like yeah. Bloodsport. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. better for him. Yeah. It was better for Predator. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Win-win. Everyone. Win-win. Everyone worked out. You got to do this fantastic movie. <laughs> so he went. I can't tell if you're. Okay. So he went. <laughs> Save it for wrap-ups. <laughs> so he moves over to Canon Films, who was coming off of their great hit, over the top. top. Yeah. Yeah. Was that Coming the in. only movie they'd done prior to this? Like no, they did like eight films a year. Right. So Masters of the Universe yeah. is 87. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fond memories of that one. <laughs> I do. All right. Well, that was a big deal. <laughs> right? Tried like, to watch it. A lot of people saw that movie, didn't they? No? Yeah. At the time, He Man was a big thing. I feel like at some point we should revisit Masters of the Universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way yeah. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you we should. Make me sit down and watch it. Yeah. It was yeah. Pretty, pretty rough. Um, <laughs> 
So, uh, <laughs> so he comes to Canon. They put him in Bloodsport. I have to assume that this was written for him. Yeah. Okay. As, as far as my my knowledge goes, yes, this was always intended to be his movie. We've got you. We've got Bolo. We have we need nothing else. <laughs> That's right. Bolo Young. Well, I mean, you have to have some kind of you know street cred if you're making a martial arts film. Yeah. So you get Bolo Young, who famously done movies with Bruce Lee, including right. Enter the Dragon, which his lines... It- <laughs> His lines in this movie are lifted almost word for word His because, he has, because, because, he, has, because yeah. he has like three whole lines. Yeah, one of them is ugh. Yeah, and the rest is you're next. You're next. next. <laughs> yeah. You broke the brick. Mm-hmm. I break you. Mm-hmm. I think that's yeah, it. I think mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah. yeah, brick don't yeah. fight back. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that was at the yeah. beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Balls yeah. and do hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who is uh, young Jean-Claude playing in this film? He's Mr. Frank Dukes, an American in the uh, United States Army. An American. An American. An American. Good, Just, good yeah. clean cut yeah. American yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. No one questions that. No. Well, they set it up so like his parents were immigra- immigrants from France. They were, were in America. They barely set that up. Yeah. They had, well, I don't think they specifically said where, but I mean, he, yeah. he's Belgian. So we're yeah. assuming yeah. that, you know, they were either supposed to be from France or from Belgium. Right. Mm-hmm. And they were coming to the United States to run a fish hatchery. No, that was, that was no. The, they were that was the growing some oh, crops. Right. Vine, 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 vine. vineyard. Because he was yes. like, because he said something about like you, you, you make grapes stronger or something weird like that. And I was like, wait, Do there's science. a lost right. in you, translation you train, thing no, here. You train the vines. You train the vines. You train the vines. Yeah, and I was like, well, that train our children. I yeah. train the children. I think like, I think oh. Holly, you said it best when you said his parables need some work. Yeah, his yeah. parables really need some work. <laughs> Something gets lost in the translation. And then, and then he Belgium said, "We both too. grow children." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's like, he yeah. talking to? It's a great commodity. <laughs> Frank Duke's parents, because wait, well, who is the he? Uh, he uh, is uh, oh, Mr. Tanaka, who is an Asian guy that lives in Frank young Frank Dukes' neighborhood. Young Frank Dukes and some local ruffians break into his house to steal his sweet samurai sword. Mm, <laughs> and, like you do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and, um, and instead of leaving... Yeah. He stays. Young yeah. Frank yeah. Dukes yeah. is slow. He's yeah. real like, slow. He's, yeah. He's, real yeah. slow. <laughs> He's not quick on the uptake. Does it make you guys all. concerned that was the best kid they could find to play? Very like, concerned. You know? the <laughs> only French kid that they could find who kind of sort of looked like a young uh, John I guess, Yeah. Like a combination of him and like Adam Sandler. Yeah. 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 the hair, yeah. right? Yeah. That yeah. weird yeah. like, yeah. And the hat. The hair and the yeah. hat combination. Just, yeah. 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 So I they break for a woman do. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird. Like they, the kids break in because that's what kids do, right? They just yeah. break in through the front window. Yeah. Broad, yeah. broad daylight. Yeah. Broad daylight. Throw. Just go right through the just a good old picture window. After school B and E is all. <laughs> yep. Oh, we all did that, didn't we? Did we? Be uh, I did that later in yeah. life. That's when the B and E started. <laughs> yeah, <happening. B&E. laughs> so they break in to, to steal the sweet samurai sword. Uh-huh. And then, you know, somebody comes home and they're like, Frank, we got to get out of here. But Frank, honor bound, stays. Uh, yeah. That's was what that it was, it? right? Was it honor? I think it was. He's not well, a smart man, but he knows <laughs> they what the, they, swords are. I they know. took the sword and they're like, Frank, you got to grab something. And he's like, not really with it. He's with them. Because, he's not with it. All right. He's yeah. not with it. <laughs> yeah. He's not with it at all. He's not. I mean, the kid's wearing two different giants. Like memorabilia. Yeah, he's got no, he's he, got no city affiliation. Yeah, like, he has, no, like, he has no idea where he is. He, he, he just no, likes no, he, where am I? No, he doesn't no. like cities. He just likes teams that are giants. Yeah, because he has wanna, a New York Giants shirt giants. on, but a San Francisco Giants hats on, which yeah. is a baseball team and a football team. That's so right. he just likes whatever the Giants are. Is there a, uh, a Japanese Giants team? I think there's something to that baseball team. That's so he was just missing well. that. I think he just likes the Giants. He just likes the Or Giants. I think the it makes him more appealing to. Doesn't matter where you are, you like the Giants somewhere in the United right. States. It makes him American. He's all, he's all American. <laughs> is what it does. East Coast and West Coast coming together. There you, you know, he's all coasts. He's, <laughs> you know, intercontinental. That's right. Well, I feel he's like it an should international have been like the man. Yankees and the Lakers or something. <laughs> Yeah. No, nope, just giants. <laughs> what else? But he, the, the thing that he's got here is when he's in, it's because they disrespected the sword. He knows that the sword is like a special thing, so he picks the sword back up when the he owner comes in. He picks up the in. case. The, Wait, the, but he's going to put sheath. it back on the. He does. He yeah. picks up the sheath. He doesn't yeah. pick up the sword. I will do this, and then I will get the sword. And yeah. I will put it back in. This there. kid, man. Right. <laughs> then he gets, uh, proceeds to get his ass kicked. Yeah. By the other little By kid. a very small Asian child. Yeah. <laughs> As you said, Sean, the watchdog of the house. Yeah, he really is. It's like as he's soon the as the break-in like, happened, he was there. His dad shoved him to go, like, kick his ass. 
It was, uh, yeah. And the child is, uh, you know, two feet tall. And, mm-hmm. just... and that kid's only dream is to grow up and fight in the Kumite. <laughs> you do, you, As he you states do under, later on. You do understand what that was, right? Mm. He he was the giant and he was and the kid was David. That was the whole thing. That's why, he was right. wearing, that's why he was wearing the giant stuff. This is amazing. You're giving Thank it a lot you. more credit <laughs> than the writers did. That's why Holly's here. Yep. Yep. That's why I'm yep. here, guys. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. Insightful. You, oh, you are better at your parables. <laughs> I ain't the sea, my motherfuckers. From this yeah. dot over here to yeah. that dot over oh. there. It's like, I can make a connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're better I'll, at parables than Mr. Tanaka, that's for I'll sure. I'll bring you guys with me. That's well, I'm <laughs> still working on the whole idea that this is a remake of Over the Top. We were, we oh, know, yeah. Because we've got a guy who's like fleeing. Yeah, I mean, from I'm sure there's military. some dots there. Yeah. Yep. He's going toward a tournament somewhere that he's got to get to. There are military guys trying to get him back. That didn't happen. Uh, that no. didn't happen over there. No. No. Okay. no. 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 Right, no there's so, just Robert Loja being like, you're not good Robert enough for my Loja. family. Yeah, he was pretty yeah. much the, the army guy. Yeah. One. Yeah. He had his little henchman. Huh? Mm-hmm. He did. Well, there was a car chase and a, yeah. and a theft of a child <laughs> yeah. in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Similar. Ish. A little bit. It was close enough in time that we yeah. could say it was borrowing liberally from over the top. Mm-hmm. Um, they followed a similar formula. Similar? Mm-hmm. Similar? There you go. Well, you know <laughs> Similar. It's similar. I'm three in, guys. What's happening? It's the Zima. It's, it's going Zima. straight to your head. Mm. So young Frank trains under the tutelage of Mr. Tanaka? Yep. Yeah, his... His, his sh- 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 I, yep. <laughs> I don't want to say the word because I don't know exactly what it is. Shishan Shu in L.A. Yeah, Shishan. That was an angel throw out there. Nobody got. Uh, no. That was the overall. Yeah, oh, I okay. got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> Shishashna. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry, trains- whoever I just disrespected. <laughs> I apologize. Well, he trains with this guy because this guy, and this is what I love about uh, these movies, right? Guys from. Uh, Japan, this, uh, Mr. Tanaka, he comes to the United States, much like Mr. Miyagi, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, comes here to become a gardener, because in this case, a uh, fisherman. He wanted a fresh start. Yeah. But it turns out that this guy is probably the greatest martial arts master that has ever lived. Yes. But he just lives least. in your regular suburban neighborhood. Of course. They all do. With They're all just like, pen. I gave that life up long ago. Yeah, yeah. but that's right. Every mm-hmm. single guy that comes over here from Asia is a martial arts no. master. I killed yeah. many people. I don't want to do that, that like? <laughs> did you guys feel like he probably killed his whole family? The way he talked about it, he's like, I lost my wife, my son, my daughter. He and got then really I, like, it's like, low uh, on that one. He said yeah. it was in here. Shima. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, they died yeah. the bomb. But he got really low in that part where later on when Jean Claude Van Damme was holding the sword, I'm like, there's going to be some fucking Harry Kane. Yeah, going on exactly. Like, oh, yeah. This is going to be good at all. Like, he's like, you have learned everything I could teach you. Yeah. And then just well, kills himself. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, yeah. holy shit, that would yeah. be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the movie you Colin was watching yeah. on his head. I was watching a completely different mm-hmm. movie while we were doing watching this tonight. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, when his mentor grows ill later in life, and oh no, well, ill-ish. Ill, he say. looks exactly the same as he does in the flashbacks. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's his illness. He's yeah. like, my, he left the blank, his like, legs are gone, they won't explain. But it. yeah, he's still sassy about he's it. Still he sassy. Is, he's so which sassy is about it. Do you sleep with your eyes open? He's just like, <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, oh, I'm dying, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dying of something. Wait, I don't how know. are you? I'm old. I'm like, old. that's it. You've been the same for 30 years. How are you old? Yeah. He well, he trains uh, Jean Claude Van Damme in an extended montage that involves it involves Jean Claude Van Damme staring at a sword for a good ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, doing a lot and of breathing exercises. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, getting yeah. kicked down. He fell down a lot. I, I yeah. love that. I love those cuts. Just him on the mat and his face. Him to the mat. His Ooh. face. Yeah, no Just action. Back and forth. You see falling. Yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> well, this is where we were first acquainted with the majesty of the acting chops. Of the future superstar, Jean Claude Van Damme, yes. who I mean, I never thought on. I'd say this, but he's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> who knew? But I mean, come on, he has a commanding screen presence. Yeah, for the wrong when he speaks, reasons. you cannot help but you li- cannot help. Listen, yeah. transfixed. Because you're like, what did he just say? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> what is his accent? Yeah. Because yeah. you're trying to figure it out is mm-hmm. what it is. Yeah. Yes. Well, and that's what everybody like, was asking. Yeah. Just like, what is Even at the time, right? I mean, like, well, I mean, Schwarzenegger had set the pace, right? Being an Austrian who oh. made But he it. was very obviously Austrian. Yeah. I, did, I don't know where Van Damme's from. Like, just watching movies like this, I can't tell. Yeah. Cannot tell. Belgium. 
It's the muscles from Brussels. Mm. No, I know that. Yeah. But just going on the accent. Yeah, he's from Brussels. I get it. You would never know that. No, yeah, no, you would never know, know that. He doesn't have like the stereotypical French accent, I suppose. No. I don't know. Maybe. No, he does not no, he sound doesn't. French at all. Nope. Yeah. And he is uh, extremely adept at doing the splits. Yep. Which is odd because, I don't know, there's something about like a man doing the splits does not come off to me as like manly, you know, like hardcore action hero material. I think not to- until he did it between two semis. Then yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened like three years ago. Yeah, I mean, it did. Yeah, and, and I mean, I get like you know, like in Cyborg, which I think was the first time that I ever saw Van Dam, mm-hmm. where he like hops up the wall above that guy. Oh, he's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Every yeah. Time, like, okay, I get what you're doing, you know. <laughs> yeah. But here he just likes to train doing the splits and all this other yeah. stuff. Like, you can do the splits. It's more or less watching a dude do yoga. Yeah. Like, good yeah. for you, but... Yoga and I breathing. mean, what do you want me to do with this? Right. I yeah. think, like, the splits is more like sending a message, like, I so don't give a shit, I will, like, smash my balls against the floor to <laughs> be you. Like, everything. Yeah, like, I don't... Join I have this. no fucks to give. Look at this, you know? It's more of a distraction kind of technique, I it think, more than anything. It is distracting. I'll yeah. give him that. Mm-hmm. Well, he used it to his advantage in the eventual kumite. Yep. Yes. That he... Uh, do we know what Colin, the fuck this what is? Colin, what is the kumite? It is... Is a martial arts tournament, not unlike uh, Mortal Kombat. Not mm-hmm. unlike Mortal Kombat. <laughs> which takes Street place Fighter. in a faraway land of Hong Kong where uh, fighters from all over the world have to travel to in After order to invited. Prove They have to be invited. They have to be invited. That's right. They represent which, different clans. I love that. They have to be invited and then prove themselves. Yeah. Yes. It's like, they don't want any forgeries with the invitations, yeah. you know? They well, got- it's got to be like maybe happens every year. You think every, every five year? Years. Every five years. Every five years, years they, they, say they said, yes. So <laughs> we got to find out which... Ray Clans Jackson's been honor. drinking for a long time to prepare for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which clan, by virtue of the warrior that they send, right? Because he represents Basically, Clan yes. Tanaka. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. They have to prove their mettle in this in this fight. So one clan will somehow rule above them all based on the one performance of one guy. Because mm-hmm. there's only so going to be one what, guy standing. It's like Thunderdome. Who's Ray Jackson from? Who's Ray Jackson? Rednecks. He's the Harley Davidson wearing American. Yeah. America. He's the American. Wait, wait, wait. What uh, organization was Stallone with in Over the Top? Oh, crap. Truck it was the Union. Truckers Union of... Oh. I'm going to go with the yeah. same one. <laughs> oh, I go Probably. with that. Do you I think he just couldn't make friends. it to the arm wrestling tournament, so he, he went to Kumite instead? Let's say that and just ended up in... <laughs> I want to see that China movie. I want to see how like, Ray well, Jackson... what's going on here? It's like, oh, Kumite. Ew. Where's, right. where's that movie? Where's he's, the movie of how Ray Jackson got to Kumite? Two invitations. Arm wrestling, Kumite. And it's just like, hmm. All right, Kumite. I almost feel like if you go back and watch Over the Top, he's in the background of the bar that right? says, see you in Vegas. You yeah. know? He has a I very familiar in Vegas face. Bar. I really, I've seen honestly, a bunch of I things. really thought he was like the dude from Over the Top at first. Grizzly? The grizzly the guy dude. that oh, yeah. oil? I really yeah. thought it was him. Yeah. Yeah. Or if nothing else, the guy in the back who um, that first challenges Sylvester Stallone is like, hey, yeah. you're Hawks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. That guy. He may as well have been an extra yeah. in that movie. Yeah. yeah. But he's been in... A few things. Like, I've seen him before in a bunch of, like, 80s movies. And yeah, whatnot. I think he's, like, I can't pin him standard, down. like, he looks you know, like a on yeah. The, yeah. you know, whatever, the, the, the team of guys going on the mission in yeah. some, like, direct-to-video thing. Yeah. Or, like, a, a, a wrestler. wrestler. He's a wrestler. Like a wrestler, wrestler. wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. in something. So he's a big... Maybe, like, some really, American He's dude. really Suburban tall. Commando yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And his move is to basically, like, just reach out and grab a guy and, you know, thunk him His the move is to get hammered drunk and just talk shit. Yeah. That's his move. I will fucking like- kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. That's the part of the whole movie. Reaction yeah. of this movie. Yeah. That was my favorite. <laughs> because the reaction cuts to Bolo Young sitting in the stands going like, what the, fuck? the fuck's he talking about? Looking, looking around like, what? <laughs> what? what? The oh, best, so if, that, if that was not, if oh my God, if that wasn't scripted, that was amazing. But yeah. that had had to have been the best piece of acting in this entire movie. Yeah. Was his yeah. reaction. I was convinced he had no he idea. He had no yeah. idea. That was amazing. <laughs> it did play very well. Yeah. Uh, first off, first and favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Let's Ooh. go first. First Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. First one? First movie we've ever seen? Cyborg. First movie you ever saw with him in it. Mm. Well, I got mine. It was Cyborg. Universal Soldier. Universal Soldier is my favorite, but I think this one was the first one I ever saw. Street Fighter for both. Really? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. Favorite. favorite? It's not a good movie, but it's no, no, fun. No, but I'm, it's yeah. fun, though. My favorite would be Hard Target, I think. Hard, Hard okay. Target? John wow. Movie? Yeah. 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 Okay. 
He plays an American in. Uh, isn't he supposed to be the American? Yeah, in, uh, Street, the Street Fighter. Fighter yes, well? yes. <laughs> oh, he's, you know what? He's always oh, an American, and they never question oh, it. Oh, sudden death. I love Sudden Was death. he in Double Team or was that yep. Dolph oh. Lundgren? Double Team? Double he was in Double Team. I didn't like that yeah. one. Double Team with Rodman. Yeah. 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 That, he was in Double Trouble with himself. Favorite. Yeah. Was it yeah. Double Trouble? Oh, yeah. Uh, double no. Impact. Uh, double Impact. Double, double Impact. Impact. I'm sorry. Time Cop. Oh, I forgot about Time Cop. Yeah. What am I saying? See our episode on Time Cop. We all just listed four. Yeah. We just went through like his most notable films pretty much. Who here is a fan of Lionheart? Yeah. No. I don't know what words you just said. That was his Lionheart. first studio movie, Universal Pictures. And guess what it was? Jean Claude Van Damme is an illegal underground fighter in a in a tournament kind of situation that takes <laughs> I love place. Lionheart. Oh, that, re- that reminds me. You guys ever seen The Quest? No. no oh, not, oh, God. Okay. So The Quest is a is another JCVD movie that is literally the same thing as Bloodsport, but it's like the 1920s. Is Roger and Moore in that movie? So I he, think so. so. He's a pugilist. He's like he's a, no. He's, <laughs> I want to see that movie. No, it's the He's 1920s. A French legionnaire who like <laughs> <laughs> breaks okay. ranks or something. If I rem- I think if I remember correctly, I think he directed it too. Oh wow! But Shut he up. okay. So it's the 1920s, and he takes care of a bunch of like beggar children, and they like they like they're like Robin Hood types. Like they kind of uh-huh. like pickpocket people and street perform. Like Oliver and Twist? he's a clown on stilts that goes to fight in a kumite type battle. Shut is up. this the best John Claude Van Damme no, movie? No, it's terrible. It's not even. Why a, are we it's not a, watching? I, I, <laughs> no, honestly, is this is canon? more enjoyable. No, it's not canon. Oh, that's um, God. Yeah, they it's, were gone. By it's then. like, but it's like a period piece Kumite. Like it's the quest. It, yeah, it's called John the quest. Claude Van Damme doing a period. Piece. Yeah, and it's like wow. you can tell that it's like he just shoved in all the ideas he had always wanted to do in movies into one movie. Wait, did I, is this his passion is project? Is it also known as the Legionnaire? Or is that a separate movie? I don't. Don't know. So you're talking about his passion project. Yeah, it's basically. yeah, which is code for probably awful. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. probably Fantastic. Mm. Mm. The quest. The quest. Yeah, yeah it's going it's... on my list. <laughs> <laughs> after, for next summer. After, for next yeah. summer. Yeah, we'll save. Yeah, it came out in '96, so it was a it was a time after you know he he was not at his peak at that okay. point in time. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he, according to the internet, the, the the synopsis is in the slums of New York City during the 1920s. Petty thief Chris Dubois, oh. which is oh. his character's name, mm. finds himself on the run from the police. Not unlike on the run from the army uh, in this right. movie <laughs> at the docks, he hides on an outbound freight ship leaving for Asia to fight of in a course. worldwide death tournament. Of so course. Legion just wrote be a this movie for a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah. He did. yeah. 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 yep. Well, this is what I mean. A lot of I imagine movies. he just keeps making the same movie, but just different costumes. A lot of tournaments. Yeah, clown, and he's in yep. the army, and then he's like a doctor. Do we know what he was doing fed. before movies? Like he was uh, working out. He was. A, he all, is a championship all, martial all artist. Okay, oh yeah, it's very true. He go. is an actual martial artist. Yeah. So. yeah. So they're like, that's where your strong suit is. That's mm-hmm. what you know the best. Yep. It's like you should just keep putting you in these. Yeah. Except when you have to escort a female cyborg across the post-apocalyptic <laughs> landscape. Am I right? I know it's a female cyborg. So. <laughs> I've seen the movie. <laughs> well, I know. I didn't know. It was a, I, no, I didn't know it was a female side. Oh, okay. Interesting. So in this movie, so John Claude Van Damme's like uh, move is to basically drop, do the splits, drop to his balls, mm-hmm. and Hit punch somebody in else in the balls. balls. Yeah. Like and un- he, so he goes up from beneath that was with so his fist. That was so fucking cheap. That was so fucking cheap. I know. When that happened, I'm like, this guy's a fucking dirty fighter. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That doesn't seem like it should be allowed. I like, mean, I it's it, blood sport. Everything's legal. I get it's full contact, but I know it just uh, it seems like uh, the only so two guys. Cheap. So well, cheap. Maybe people got understand. kicked in the head while they were already down on the mat. Everything Very is true. legal in blood sport. Yeah, but the balls seem like a, just a different level. Well, they just say that. I mean, going into it, it said that. Kunjite? No, kum, kumite. Kum, what is it called? Kumite. 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 That's yeah, right. The song. I'm going to get that wrong because the Charles Bronson movie is Kinjite. Also from Canon Films. Uh, sorry. Uh, the uh, But they say that it's a full contact sport. So at the time, I'm assuming that this is illegal. This is before MMA fighting. But yeah. this is where yeah. this all kind of starts. Well, Kickboxing? It, I think it was kind of Kickboxer. starting off right around that time. Because I know Paco in this movie was actually the, uh, like an MMA fighter prior oh, to this he? movie. Yeah. Like he might have been in, uh, in a, other countries before, you know. United States, but he was, yeah. An Mexico, MMA fighter. like you're saying, a guy named Paco. No, I, I don't know what his, that's his character name is Paco. Uh, I don't know what his actual uh, name what is. What was but... his real name? It's like uh, Juan. Um... <laughs> 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 nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Okay. No. Nope. 
I was going to say Raul. No. That's Names not are not important in no. this movie. Not at all. <laughs> well, I mean, he meets uh, Randy friendly. Jackson. No. Ray, Ray Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> That's a different movie. <laughs> These two guys get on I'd like a house movie. on fire. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. The bromance begins. They play an extended video game. They play video games for far too long in this Karate movie. Champ. Karate Champ. The early game. Street Fighter video Basically, game. Basically, yes. They yeah. got to hit that. The red versus the white. It's the Ken and the Ryu. Yeah, they get to hit that 90 minute mark, you know, so they pad it out with an extended scene of these two grown men playing a video game Which together. Which was, a, it was a fun scene, just too long. Yeah, it was fun. Far too long. Yeah. yeah Could have cut it after the first fight, you know. That's why I yeah. said it sets up that relationship. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it. it. Two dudes mm-hmm. bonding over a video game. Yeah, yeah well, they're, it works. Because they're like the only, well, we assume the only Westerners there. Mm-hmm. Except no. for, oh, well, okay. I won't yeah. Say. Except for another Paco. guy who looks like he's a Westerner, but he could be from wherever. Yeah. He's yeah. French, for all I know. The only yeah. established West- yes. Westerners, yes. Yeah. Well, we get introduced to a number of the fighters that these guys are going to have to, you know, move up through the ranks through, mm-hmm. including, well, Bolo Young, obviously, mm-hmm. is the top dog. A guy yep. named yep. Chun Li. Sorry, that's not right. Chong Li. Chong Li. Chong Li. Chong Li. Chong Li. Chong Li. Yes, yep. Chong okay. Yep. Chong-ly. Chong-ly. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> he is undefeated and has broken so many records. And, and he becomes... punched some guy through the throat last year and killed, killed a man. Yeah. yeah, and stood there and killed watched it. him die. Yeah. <laughs> Right on the mat. It's very Which the mat is yeah. white. <laughs> Which, the mat is white. You know, it's a sport called blood sport where people bleed a bunch. Oh, yeah. And they have the mat you know, as yeah. white. Oh, that made me think like the whole way through in the movie, like the continuity guy is going to be like, oh my, you know, they, the they blood drip spots. blood on it right now. And then we yeah. got to clean this up because there's well, that's like, why you there's have the guy spots. who goes in and cleans it up. But yeah, he didn't but really. Well, like he just kind of smeared it around. Shoot yeah. it! Like he's, shit, we got these. He blood sop, sp- yeah, he sops up a puddle, and that's about it. But there's still stains steals all over it. it. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. steals yeah. the gold tooth. Steals the tooth. All right, so we're also introduced to the uh, African tree fighter. Oh my yeah, god, the guy who jumps around like a monkey. That is yeah. his fighting style. Yeah, like a monkey. monkey. We see in the yeah. opening in the opening credits of this movie, we have a montage of all the fighters like fighting, like training across the country, That's and very true. we see him jump up into a tree from an indeterminate height and hack <laughs> these coconuts right off a branch right in a row. It's yeah. pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, Everybody's got to train their own way. There's also uh, the aforementioned Paco. Mm-hmm. Um, Sadiq Hussein. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. The, the the Arabs that are played by Indian guys yeah. apparently in this yeah, movie. Yeah. Tell. Yeah. <laughs> Indeterminate race. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a lot, yeah. Well, they wear the Arab. Uh, it's it's the ultimate turban, title. Yeah. It? The checkered. Is that a Palestinian yeah. thing? That's just Ar- Arab, right? The red and white checkered. I don't know. I don't know. Specifically. I don't want to uh, pretend to know. Yeah. No. Yep. Don't know. I don't know. That's just, not a. It's not a cultural thing that I am familiar with enough to say anything uh-huh. whatsoever. All right. <laughs> well, this is how we get to know the world through movies like Blood Sports. Well, yeah, we don't get to know the yeah, world exactly. with like four white yeah, people sitting dude, around going, I think yeah. it's this. Yeah. Yeah. That dude looked Filipino. He yeah. did not look Arab. They were, yeah, they were, right. yeah. they were trying to yeah. push a narrative onto him that was not reflective of yeah. who he yeah. actually is. Yeah, Couldn't find an, an, Ara- an actual Arab in Hong Kong, so we're going to just get this Filipino guy. You look kind of Arabian. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there's the two guys who you said look like. What was it like? Oh, yeah. yeah. What did you say, Sean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was uh, the, the, way, <laughs> yeah. The, the way they're dressed in the movie. It's like if you're playing Street Fighter and you both pick the same character. Yeah. One's just a, the darker color yeah. of the other one. <laughs> what is exactly a different colored like, pair of pants? Yeah. yeah you look exactly thing. like, but different pants. Yeah. It was wonderful. I don't remember their names. <laughs> They both Ken got out in the first round anyway, so yeah. it didn't matter. Ken and Ryu. Uh, yeah. Good enough. Yeah. That's was anyone else curious about how they determined who fought who? Because there was no process showing that. It was oh, just like... The best for the moon? It was just like they just put the names up and those people were expected to go. Yeah. yeah. But like Ray Jackson and Frank Dukes never fought each other, you know? Like, well, because yeah. Ray got taken out by yeah. Bolo. Right. But like, how did Lee. how did they determine that, though? Like, who? how do they match these people up? We don't yeah, see like, any of that like process. Wait, yeah. little, like little, No, no. No, not at all. Because Little Spider Monkey fought that big dude. Yeah. They were not weight class appropriate right. whatsoever. It seemed, true, but after a certain point, like, they would have to fight each other, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Once you got around to it. Yeah. Yeah. They have to. Yeah. yeah. Chong Lee fought everyone. So maybe that's it. It was just random. Like, we're just going to put you yeah. 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 Whoever's yeah. standing They're just advances. waiting for those yeah, boards to go like, up. Yeah. People up. It's just random. They just pulled the boards, like pulling short straws. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So right. the Kumite. 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 Kumite is Kumite. a secret. Organization that everyone knows about. A secret fight to the death that everyone in Hong Kong is here for. Except yep. for the American the reporter? reporter. 
Yeah. We, do we ever hear her name? I never once heard oh, her name. Shit. <laughs> I don't think they ever said her name once. We'll just call her April. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Like O'Neill? Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's and exactly what, where I'm going. What is she in Hong Kong for? She needs to cover Kumite. Yeah. yeah. She Story of her she's life. She's an investigative journalist. Yeah. She needs to know the truth, Colin. And she's, she's going about it very to subtly. Anything she needs to. That's right. That's she's a euphemism she, for I'm going to fuck every guy at this place. Yeah, every but guy one of them in Kumite. Gets into the it's secret not her, thing. It's not her first time going undercover yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any cover any uh-huh. yeah. any, specifically cover his there. covers yeah. Yeah. in his hotel room <laughs> she's won by van damme in a game of uh chance against the arab a game of a game quickness. of quickness yeah speed. quick reflexes speed where he has to Lim- snatch <laughs> a uh, well, I told you to take the coin from my hand <laughs> yeah. He has to snatch a coin from a guy's hand before the guy can close his hand. Oh, it's an amazing scene. It's full of, like, suspense and tension and amazing dexterity on the part of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Also great editing. Yeah. (laughs) Because that's all it took for that scene. It's not impressive if it's just a cutaway. Say what you will, Sean. I will. I was dutifully impressed by the lightning quick speed with which Jean Claude yeah, Van Damme was able to. I can't tell anymore if you're being serious. I can't either. She, I have no I'm idea. Saying no. <laughs> she, no. She's like the worst investigative journalist ever, though, because she's sitting in this bar in Hong Kong, and literally anyone that walks in, she's like, "So how about that Kumite, huh?" <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. this thing that's right. secret. She's just asking everyone about, expecting them to just be like, "Oh yeah, you want to come?" Yeah. Like no you know, one, huh? I'll tell you. Yeah. I mean, but that's the thing. No one will talk to her. But if she would just sit there for a second and listen, every single person walking around is like, hey, this Kumite we're going to later. Do you think that we're going to fight this guy? Yeah. Like, what the? Just give it a second. Plus, Ray Jackson won't shut up about it either. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, they get led to the Kumite hideout by their little friend, Johnny Lowe. Through like a mile long, completely dark alley. Set in this movie, quote unquote, because they show set. it a million times. It's wonderful. It's one of those places that, it's like, a production or a location just, scouts are just like, proud yes. of, and, and they're like, like, "Yes, they're so proud of it." Production this has been already production designed for us. Look <laughs> at all the cabling <laughs> and so the much plants cabling. that are hanging down. It's during the day, but so it looks dangerous. like night. It's like we found a set out of Blade Runner. If they would have just it put really a bunch was, of uh, yeah. neon in there, they would have been set. It, that's funny. Thing. I'm like, this looks like something out of Colin would love if there were some red and blue lights in this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, because this looks like something out of uh, Only God Forgives. Only God, Only God yeah. Forgives. That's Did exactly you think what I was about thinking. that? Yeah, movie I thought that too. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did too. Okay. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I did too. it's funny you mentioned Blade Runner because the director of this movie, so he's only directed three movies ever. Uh, the last thing he ever directed was this movie blood sport <laughs> um then, then he, this like shit canned his career he didn't direct anything after this i don't know if that's by he choice or what after but blood. he was an assistant director on some amazing movies he was first assistant director on blade runner get the fuck yep first assistant director in godfather part two mm. get wow the, f- the goonies Oh mm-hmm. shit! A uh, uh, freak show favorite, Ladybugs. He was assistant ah, director. Ladybugs. Ladybugs. Yes. A freak show favorite. Right, yeah. So, yeah. Sixteen yeah. candles. Oh, there's favorite. more. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys, you guys go look at his assistant directing wow. list. It's long. Sixteen candles and personal 16 favorite. Sixteen candles. Yeah. And a personal favorite of mine, uh, t- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Two: Secret of the Ooze. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, this says an awful lot. Even if you're assistant director on something, that doesn't That's necessarily mean that you're learning a goddamn. Clearly, thing. clearly, <laughs> as demonstrated by this movie, doesn't mean you learned a thing. What uh, were it's the three lit. movies that he actually did direct? <laughs> they were. <laughs> the first one was called Hands of a Stranger. It looks like a really schlocky a horror movie. movie. It, it looks like um it like, like the movie. it looks like the original Idle Hands is what it kind of oh, looks like. Okay. Um, and then the hands of Orlock. Mm-hmm. Maybe I <laughs> the second one is called Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst. Blood and this oh, one, he almost had his trilogy. He just needed one more. Bloodthirst. <laughs> Bloodsport. Blood, 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 Blood vacation. vacation. <laughs> Blood and, diner. And the, oh, yeah. Blood donor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then Bloodsport. Blood he hasn't yeah. directed anything since Bloodsport. Mm. That poor, poor man. Poor is he man. dead? Did he go oh, back boy. to assistant well, directing? Well, he died inside, I but I don't know if he's actually <laughs> dead. I don't know, because he has like 60 assistant directing credits. He has yeah. a lot that's of assistant well, that's directing. That's a good career. Yeah. It may have made it sound like it was a, he's a horrible, horrible director. No, but, okay, I was going to well, say, this is... Uh, I mean, anything, Tell me about the direction and staging and choreography of the action scenes in this movie. Not great. Why Boring. not? Cheap. Because it's... It's very slow. Yes. It doesn't look like, I mean, 
doesn't look like anybody's like making con- everything's just slow and it looks choreographed. I think is the biggest problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. it you looks like everybody is telegraphed. Waiting, yeah, they're waiting yeah, for everyone's this waiting. move to come there. They way. don't want to actually get hit, so they're right. like, Ugh. yeah, everyone's yeah. waiting for it. All telegraphed. It's all slower than what I was expecting in this movie. I was expecting every sing- going every on. single I- every single moment of impact. You can see them preparing for that moment of right. impact, mm-hmm. and there's no like yeah. visual because they try. You can hide it if you you know if you're behind the guy who gets kicked in the face. You know he may look like he gets kicked in the face. Yeah, if he pulls but, his punch, there's enough. There's like enough. The cameras yeah. in a certain it's, place where right. it looks like you know if you snap your head. Yeah, but if when like it's you've been turned hit. around and you can see it, like there's not impact. Right. In right. The, whatever's can, being like thrown. you can tell that there's no impact. Yeah. Yeah. It's giving absolutely. Away. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the problem with it. That's the yeah, big problem. That happens with a movie a lot. A lot in mm-hmm. every lot. fight scene, and that's a big problem for a movie called Bloodsport. That's about fighting. Yeah. I don't know about you. It's not Here's very bloody for guys movie called Bloodsport. Almost hitting each other. <laughs> it really is for an hour and a half, and for something that's been like this guy killed a guy, and then he killed a guy here. I'm just like, I'm not. It's like all but, all I'm seeing is bloody noses. Yeah, I'm not scared. A lot of bloody noses. A lot. They spent all the money in that scene where that shin bone popped out of that guy's uh, leg. Yeah. Bolo Young pops a guy's shin bone out of his leg. Yeah. Breaks it. I'm sorry, I just wanted. To and off then screen. it's just like it yeah. more exciting than it was. Yeah. <clears throat> but it was really awesome when he punched that guy in the face and his hand came out the back of his head. This is the movie. This Colin is the movie. Was Colin watching. Watching. Yeah. Yeah. While we were watching, he punched that guy in the balls and his balls like threw up into his or went came out of his mouth. This is Hot Shots Part Two. <laughs> Canon does not have money for things like this. Oh shit! I wish they did. You know why you're thinking about that? Because that was a riff on the opening scene of Rambo Three. If you remember yes, it was. Rambo, uh, yes, the it stick was. fighting. Guess who wrote Rambo Three? Who? Sheldon Lettich. Who is Sheldon Lettich? Oh, you, one of the writers shit. on this movie. He wrote Bloodsport. <laughs> there it is. And Kickboxer. There it is. And Double Impact. Oh my and god. And Lionheart. So he he is it <laughs> so he's just drunk love Van Damme's personal writer. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. yeah. All right. yeah. makes sense. It's like you will make the part good for me. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. I may be off on some of those. Some I'm of pretty those, sure I'm that pretty he wrote sure. like the majority. He definitely put Rodman in a movie. Yeah, he tried to make Dennis Rodman a star. Yes. <laughs> There's also yeah. that scene where where Forrest Whitaker and the other cop oh, yeah, that are that are hunting him. Because he went AWOL from the army. <laughs> Hunting him. Yeah. I mean, that's that makes it sound more intense well, than it actually what's is. what's actually happening there. Okay, yeah. so, so, so what happened? Have you seen Scooby-Doo? <laughs> yeah. That's essentially what's yeah. happening. So JCVD went, went AWOL from the army to go to Kumite. Mm-hmm. And so he had a furlough. He was allowed to <laughs> yeah, leave. He could leave. Why are they after him? If they had, this proves that the cops were pointless in this movie because if they had left him alone, they don't even Everything would have been the same. Yeah, yeah. He would have gone for a low, won yeah. the tournament, and gone back. That's his yeah. plan. They don't even he have guns. That. They don't even have guns. No, they have tasers. <laughs> they have, they have 80s tasers. tasers. Oh um, but they're yeah. chasing him once they finally catch up to him in Hong Kong. Um, and, and the way like they're chasing him and he is like hopping fences and gets so far ahead of them he actually like casually like leans against a fence. Like yeah, I can I can give them. Yeah, he waits, he waits for them to them. catch up. The only this scene is dying for some Benny Hill wacky sex. Seriously, like, it, I can't believe they didn't do it. Music it, choices. Wait, was that the scene that actually like started the uh, like pop song, uh, like when the montage kind of yeah. pop song stuff? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. there was a there scene was before, before that it. where I sat there going like, shouldn't they have like an eighties pop song right here? And they didn't. They had the score, which is okay. Electronic. Sure. I think kind there was one stuff. scene before that had something that was a little yeah. There poppier. was there was one that it was like a solid like night like. Was it the 80s montage? ballad, but that this one was more yeah. like a like a I don't a know like a light a... FM kind of yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it was weird yeah it was weird yes yeah yeah it was weird it wasn't appropriate for what was going mm-hmm. on there we I also mean. didn't get like a love making scene to a nice power ballad no that didn't happen no, at all because no you don't saxophones even see in this movie yeah you, know, you, you don't you don't, you don't realize, even see the love you scene you don't realize how much you miss that until it's gone until, yeah, exactly yeah because they cut from what they go to dinner and she's like got all night she's yeah I got all night. And then it's the next this. morning. And then it's the next morning. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they wanted to skip the part where Jean-Claude Van Damme lost his virginity to her. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what he I'm guessing like happened. a little boy. He Which does. Is what I'm guessing happened. Happened. Like, he's got this, I mean, he really he does have this innocence about him. Yeah. He's like wide-eyed, yeah. naive yeah. little, yeah. yeah. Like how this guy became a fucking action star is still yeah. like, it's yeah. blowing my Did mind Did you not tonight, see the slow-mo of him going, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. you're, you're right, Sean. There you go. I changed my opinion because all these slow every time he, he knocks somebody down, there's the slow motion shot of him Freaking shuddering out. back yeah. and it's forth with his shuddering. eyes just bulging. He's out going of his into head. a state of Hulkamania, yeah. basically. Yeah. 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 Yep. I can't but that's it. You had to it on that. Yeah, but on the <laughs> Did you guys like that F, like like post coitus in the morning with that girl when he's putting his underwear on that he like pulls it down past his butt to pull it back up? Right, because that's like, when they had to start. And he's yeah. like, all right, well, I'm only doing because he didn't want to do it. He's <laughs> yeah. like, I'm only yeah. doing this. He felt exploited. He yeah. only wanted to be like, I'm just going to pull it down and then pull it up. I did appreciate and That's all I wanted to do. I, I did like, I I like, who is the audience for it, this movie, too? Because like she's still like fully dressed. That's what I'm saying. I, I yeah. do this appreciate is all, This is for women. This I movie appreciate is for women. The, yeah. I appreciate the fact that she is completely dressed this entire completely. movie. Yeah. Yeah, like she no, is. not even cleavage. Well, no. The, well, there's one dress that she has cleavage. But that's when she has to but, pour herself out to get into Kumite. Yeah, like after he didn't come through for it, you know. But even but, then, it's really not that bad of a dress, no. right? It's pretty yeah. modest. It's pretty, you know, yeah. standard for the '80s, especially. Yeah. you know. No, this but, is all about greased up men. Yes, but like the, the way he like <laughs> like you think editing could have fixed that though. Just edit out the part where he pulls it down. Yeah. Like why is that still yeah, in there? It's still yeah, why is that like, shot still in there? Yeah. This is just getting well, the wedgie out. I think we were talking about the director earlier, but I think the editor also is at fault for not only this scene, but this, the the fight scenes as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He doesn't know to cut from like if you got three camera angles. When the impact happens, you cut to the next one because that camouflages right. the the fact that your actors aren't actually hitting each other. Right. Yes, because the actors seem like like those stunt guys know what they're doing. Yeah. To a certain point where, like, you know, they've wet their hair down. So when they, you know, when they do the snap, head snap, the, the blood and the, the, the yeah, sweat. Yeah, I see plenty of yeah. ready with the blood. Just yep. to, uh, they know. It's solid. they've been doing this for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Spritz me right here. Yep. And they're like, this American director comes over and doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Yep. Yeah. Was editor Newt sucks. Salamander. What was his name? Newt, Newt uh, Arnold. Gingrich. Newt Ar- Arnold. Arnold. Newt Salamander. Newt Gingrich. No. It was, his name was Newt. Scamander. Scamander. Newt, Newt, yeah, Newt Arnold. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So, so, where were we? I'm sorry. So she's uh, she banged him to get into Kumite, <laughs> right? She gets yeah. into Which it. didn't work. Oh no, no, no. We were you were explaining the uh, the the two cops. Oh, or the, oh the, yeah. The army yeah. guys. Forrest Whitaker, Whitaker and Whitaker. the other guy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So Forrest Whitaker is constantly getting cock blocked this entire time. It's like amazing. Every time he opens his mouth, yeah. his older superior like brushes him off. Yeah. And I kind of figured that okay, this is going to set up an arc. No. Where something's going to happen to the older dude, or he's going to make a bad judgment call, and the younger Forrest Whitaker is going to be you able to assert think. himself, or he'll end up on Van Damme's side in something and protect him from the. None of that happened. You no. could remove them from this movie entirely. Entirely. Yeah. And nothing. Honestly, take them out, add more scenes of splits and I don't know, other weird fighting stuff, and I'm fine with it. You know, I'm not they even contribute sure what nothing. The drama was supposed to be no. there because no. they're. Like, I don't understand why they're there in the first place. Like, you would send because, junior officers, not that they aren't, but you would send some type of junior, like an MP, right. to go collect this rogue, you know, guy who's going to come mm-hmm. back. But instead, they go themselves, and then they enlist the, uh, yep, they enlist the efforts of the uh, local police, who, of course, Van Dam like, then assaults all of them. And then, like it's like in like what I imagine was the '80s version of like the old boy fight scene because it's in a very narrow alleyway. <laughs> and at the time, you, I'm sure people were like, "Whoa!" A picture for our viewers that is not represented. No, it is not nearly as awesome. But I imagine at the time that was as cool as all it right, could get. So we have a narrow uh, hallway, and we've got your dangerous guy who's trying to be apprehended, and he's got but a gym bag. Instead of <laughs> having like a hundred guys in that hallway, imagine if we had like I don't know, like three, three. <laughs> but but they come out of doorways that he doesn't know they're time. behind. Right. Yeah. They're just like, ah! <laughs> it's like a spooky haunted house, you know? Yeah, with police. Yeah, but okay. So after this scene where no one is able to apprehend this guy because. Of course, no one has a gun. Then you just point at him and say, no. "Freeze!" Right? I'm pretty sure he'd just take it away anyway. Well, because he's John Claude well, Van Damme. Yeah. I mean, he could look at the thing and probably. Well, he'd probably just blow. Yeah, or something. he did that or, magic hit the thing wall earlier to the one the dude. Thing the first guy he fought was just like, whoosh. yeah. And the guy was like, <gasps> lightning fast. Yeah, huh? I still don't understand this. I don't either. He's magic. So correct me if I'm wrong. Immediately after this, these guys show up at the tournament. And yeah. are cheering him on. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's magic. Because he, I mean, he, he disarms won people them. over. He makes them look like fools. Yeah. They go in and they're like, I have an idea how to stop this. And there's nothing. Mm-hmm. There's no idea. There's so no we may as well just accompany him to <laughs> they the just, Kumite. They mm-hmm. just sit down yes. and watch. Yeah. You got it. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Kumite. But the, minutes in. but that's, yeah. that's the whole, that's the whole <laughs> fucking that's the whole fucking movie though because there's no serious conflict, like no he's no he's he's going to like avenge his like s- sensei he's, pseudo father. Yeah, it's, not, it's not even avenge. It's no, just it's represent. not. It's just represent, represent and honor. Like, he's not, and he doesn't die before he goes. He's still no. alive. No, but yeah. his and, son, his son was supposed to take his place at the kumite. Ooh. I assume that the father, they barely Mr. Brush Tanaka, over. They, like, they barely brush over that. He was barely. supposed to. He had done the kumite. Years before. Yeah. Son is supposed to do it. Son because the dies. son says, I want to grow up and go to Kumite. <laughs> when he's five. Yeah. Yeah. But son dies. So Frank. Which, why Ducks did we not get more of a story on how the son died? Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, like, there's no, I, we don't get the drama because they don't tell us anything. Right. They skip over, like, they show us a lot of stuff we don't need to see and skip over a lot of the important yeah. stuff. Yeah. But. It's a matter of honor, yeah. Michaela. Uh, uh, and pride. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And representing that's your a big house. Thing. Yeah. Over there, but you know he <laughs> <laughs> he he really comes full circle though because the story starts out with him trying to steal this sweet samurai sword from yeah. Mr. Tanaka. But you cannot steal it. You have to. You earn cannot it. steal yeah. katana. You have to earn katana. And then when he goes through Kumite and fights, eventually fights Chung Li and wins. He what does he win? A sweet samurai sword. That's where Mr. Tanaka won his. Yeah. Yeah. So full circle, but does all he get? Is that all he gets? Is a samurai sword? Is that really worth it? <laughs> no, he gets a sense. Hey, of, I'm you know, sure he gets yeah, like, I'm Sure, there's got to be. Money but all we see is like them so. handing him a sword, an and that's it. Maybe it's you honor. become the your clan's the biggest baddest motherfucker. I guess so, because you're in it. I guess so. Do they yeah. at least reimburse your plane ticket? In your right, hotel? yeah, because that's expensive. Get him money, out of that right? like that potential court martial for going AWOL. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's gonna be a little money. A trip to Hong Kong is not cheap. At least reimburse him. Yeah. Yeah. There's all that Just, money being exchanged, you know, people yeah. betting on the fights. Very yeah. True, yeah, commerce yeah. is booming yeah. at this time. <laughs> yeah. Lucrative business. Yeah, is your life really worth risking for just a samurai sword when your teacher already has one that when he dies will probably leave to you anyways? Yeah, there could be some money in that. I know there's honor and everything. But, right. But if this you know, is blood sport where it's literally fight to I'm the not death. flying home on Honor Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> well, it also, <laughs> as Holly's saying, that the dramatic stakes aren't there because uh, Ray Jackson fights Bolo Young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're like, this is the scene where Bolo Young, much like uh, this is the Apollo Lundgren Creed scene. Apollo this Creed. is the Apollo Creed yeah. scene. This yeah. is where he's going to kill that the guy. The seeds have been planted. He yeah. killed the guy last tournament. Yeah. 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 This is it. And Ray Jackson thinks he knocked him out and is running around screaming, yeah, I got him. I got him to the whole crowd. And the crowd's like, dude, he's, he's not dead. He's, getting he's up. not dead. He's getting yeah. up. It's very dramatic. Yeah. We're waiting sure. for the death blow to be delivered. Yeah. Does it get delivered, Colin? No. No. No, no it well, doesn't. He does jump up and down in his head once. He does. Which should kill him. He should have liked- but it doesn't. We needed the big blood puddle or something. Yeah. something. We I wanted to, to see. Die. Here's like the version that I was watching. He jumped <laughs> up on his head, and when he landed, like the top of his head would open, and his brains would shoot out twenty feet across. Jesus, the- Colin, this movie cost two point five million dollars to make. They don't have the money down. for that. I mean, I like what you're saying. Yeah, here. <laughs> we're with you, but it's not I possible. I also want what you want. Yeah, yeah, but no such luck. No, this so- is in storytelling wise. It's where the friend should have died. Now, yeah, yeah. And really giving him some serious motivation like some to win. Motivation, yeah. Because aside from. Because everyone he like loves weak, is dying. Yeah. Yeah. Just we, a weak motivation of just for honor. Like a friend gets killed. Yeah. That should be it. Like yeah. that's at stakes for and the like, end of this thing. When you see Ray Jackson in the hospital, he doesn't look that bad. He has one bandage like around his head, yeah. and that's it. He's yeah. drinking beer in the hospital. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. he's fine. He's He'll be fine. Because as as it stands, the only reason we're rooting for him is because we know he's the hero. Because he's the only one left that like, isn't Shang Li. That's at this the point. only yeah. reason we know to root for him. There's no like actual like there's no actually rooting for him because you want him to win. You just, no. like, we're just know like, you're supposed to want to right. win. Did it strike you as odd that in a, possibly a missed opportunity moment, uh, Chun Li faces a guy right directly before he goes up against Frank Ducks. Dukes. 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 It's spelled wanting... like ducks, but it's Dukes. It is, and I know I'm just going to keep say calling him Ducks. Stupid. It's actually it's like Dukes. Dukes. Yeah. Yeah. Du. Yeah. Du. yeah. Frank Du. Frank Du. François Du. François Du. Yeah. Would that be E U X? Okay. Yeah, it would be D U X. Yeah. But D U X is how it's spelled. He fights Frank. Uh, he fights this other guy, 
And he does actually kill this guy mm-hmm. on the mat, and everybody turns around away from him, right? Yeah. yeah. Which Dishonored. meant nothing because in the next scene he's fighting again, but yeah. whatever. But that was the moment that he should have killed Ray yeah. Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. we're just. I'm reiterating yeah. that. That's I'm what we all believe. We're all on the same yeah. page. They yeah. should have killed uh, the friend that gives you... Unless they're like, I smell a sequel. We need to bring him we back. We need to save Ray Jackson for the <laughs> yeah. sequel. Well, that's what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. So they want like a buddy thing in the next one. But it also, they missed the opportunity. Oh, like that, buddy like, cop version of Bloodsport in the sequel. Yeah. Yeah. They team up. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's like they double make tennis. A, they yeah. did make Bloodsport 2, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. There's, four, no there's four blood what, what, sports. Did any of them come back for that one? No, no. I don't know. Exactly. Is no. it still Frank Ducks and they played by a different uh, actor? That I do not know. Wait, is Jean Claude Van Damme in the second no. one? No. Okay. No. I hope this is. Michaela, I'm disappointed about your research on this, no. on these sequels. I'm t- no, I'm just <laughs> So, but here's the, the other thing that should have happened as we write the better movie. Yes. Sure. Um, as we all want to do. Yeah. Because there should have been a gap between. Uh, Jackson getting killed and uh, Frank's final battle. It should have been the next fight. Because the, after he goes to the hospital, then he has the confrontation with the girlfriend. Is she a girlfriend? I don't even know what the, no, hell, the reporter, she's April rep- O'Neil. She's, yeah, reporter. Because after she gets into the Kumute. Kumute. The Kumute. Kumute. <laughs> Like, she ceases to have any impact on the plot, like, at all. Well, yeah, because she's just there to observe and report, Colin. That's her job. But she needs to be moral support to him when he loses his chi because his friend has been killed. And he's distracted and by he, that. And he loses his next match or something like that, right? Well, he can't lose the next match. Yeah, no, that, you're right. Yeah, because then you yeah, die. That but, that, but he does get, like, a severe beating. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. his worst he match to get that a he beating, wins. But he still mm-hmm. wins yeah. against one of the lesser players. Right, and maybe just by like man. an inch, like he gets him close enough to the edge where he gets. It's like, off. what were you doing in there? I can't stand to see you kill yourself. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna go. You know, some kind of. Yeah, he does have that a little bit with it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why did you they want can... to become a journalist? Yeah, because my father was a journalist before me. Yeah, like, yeah. This is yeah. the dumbest protracted explanation. <laughs> so stupid. And I thought I'd be good at it, and it <laughs> seemed like an okay career to go for. And I didn't have many other options, so I went to community college. <laughs> yeah, and then that's exactly what I thought about taking is. writing because the professor was hot, and then I did actually pretty good, and then I became a reporter. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's if exactly all the characters in this movie are paper thin, she is straight up transparent. Like, yeah, she's. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Like I said, I don't think she has a name. I don't ever think. I, I, I don't ever call her by him. It's, it's not yeah, April. It's but. not. That's what we're calling her. It's, it's mind boggling because normally we understand this character if she shows her boobs. Yeah. We know why she's there. <laughs> yeah. But she was fully covered. So, like, why are you here? Yeah. yeah. What right. purpose yeah. did you serve? You even have, you don't even, even have I a understand that. Explanation yeah. of why even you're I here. understand this concept. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah. You're absolutely very right. True. She would have made more of an impact. I don't know. It's just. She was the vehicle for JCVD buns. That's all yeah. it was. She was, the, she was the reason for him to, to see his butt. That's it. Her. Yeah. Well, at the end of it. You know, like where she's supposedly going to have more of a role or something, and he's going to go off with the girl. No, he goes off with the military guys, but there's the tender scene between him and Ray Jackson yeah. in the hospital. Yeah, that's the, that is the most that's romantic. The yeah, yeah that is most the romantic scene. They meet almost- cute at a video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gives him a kiss before he takes. Yeah, off. He does. I love yeah. It. there's an I love you exchange. Yeah, he says, and I he's love like, you Me too. And they're teary eyed. Like they're both teary eyed yeah. at the fact they're that like, like he has like, to I, leave. If you ever need anything, Anytime, I'll be here for anywhere, you. Like it's any place. I mean, I'm there. It's so sweet. That's the so the girl is there basically to reemphasize that Jean Claude Van Damme's character is straight. Yes. But at the end, at the emotional moment, like she shows up and she races. He's being taken away on the plane. I was like, oh, she's going to go with him. No. That's what I thought. No. No, He like salutes her. So, oh, it's the fucking hand thing. Yeah. The the fist. She she does not know what it means, but she's doing it anyway. She doesn't do that. She doesn't doesn't get to do that. that. She thinks she fucked all the guys in Kumite, so she knows everything about Kumite. She doesn't earn that. No. (sighs) That's some bullshit. It's a weird movie. It's, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird fucking movie. We also didn't talk about Chekhov's uh, Bill? Uh, blind, Chekhov blind drag. Chekhov's uh, uh, Bill Chekhov's Bill Chekhov's Alpha Seltzer. Yeah. Yeah. Chekhov's Futos. Yeah. Uh, Mentos. Yeah. Mentos. Well, it was yeah. the, but it was actually the blindfold, right? The teaching him how to right. fight. But blind. yes, yeah. For yes. someone who is taught extensively how to fight with a blindfold, he's really shitty at it when it actually happens yeah. to him. Yeah. Well, like, because he was all he's taken disoriented. He's disoriented. 
disoriented. He like, plays blind for a terrible, long by the time. way. Yeah. He's not only disoriented, he's disoriented in slow motion. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's, it, it's, it's, it disoriented me to and just yeah. watch him do that This for dude five just minutes. threw some sort of, like, medication in his eyes. and it he's was chalk. It's like yeah. chalk, but yeah. Like, yeah. Bolo and Young, and Bolo yeah. Young puts, like, a chalk ball in his waistband. Yeah, it's a pepper bomb. Yeah, and, and then normally, crushes it up and throws it in his eyes. Normally when you get something in your eyes, you're, like, all squinty. And, and you rub it in your eyes. You're in pain. He is wide-eyed. He is His eyes are wide open. My eyes need oxygen. He's like, I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. His eyes are wide open. Completely wide open. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Until he remembers the wise words of Mr. Tanaka, his Sanchu. His Shoshani. Sensei? No, but there's a word for it. It's Shishima. Yeah, I don't know. Shishima. Shishima. Sashimi. All right, let's move on. Yep. That, you know, it remembers how to... Yeah, we're apologizing. right? We have had many Zimas. Okay. The Zimas are flowing. Yeah. He remembers the training and is able to fight Bolo Young without seeing him coming. Yes. And delivers the death blow. Kind of. Three times. But for someone who had to pour tea and fight blindfolded, he does a really terrible job when, when like, the time to actually fight happens yeah. blind. Like, yeah. You'd think he'd be, like, the fucking Jedi Master. Yeah, almost. exactly. Yeah. For how much yeah. training he did. Yeah, he wasn't expecting it. Yeah. But he should have been, because he trained for that. And it's blood sport. Anything's it's, legal. You should expect been, everything. It's been bugging the hell out of me. I, I remember, I'm seeing another movie... Where there was a martial artist that fought blind, and it's driving me crazy. Does anyone- the blind swordsman? No, Daredevil. Uh, I thought of oh, Daredevil. Shit. He did. Daredevil. I, I, he was I thought Mad of Daredevil yeah. all the way through the. I thought of Daredevil, thing. but I feel like there's another movie. Yeah. This is really just know. canon's version of Daredevil, isn't it? I'm kind telling of. you, it's three ninjas. <laughs> <after, yeah. laughs> is it three ninjas? It's three ninjas. It's blind. It fury. might be three ninjas. He throws a pepper bomb in his face. Oh my god! Fight at the end. I think it. it's three ninjas. Okay, fine. Uh, three ninjas. That's why I keep saying it's a pepper. Was bomb. it three ninjas fight back? No, three ninjas. At the, the first end, one. He the first throws one. a pepper bomb in his face. <laughs> okay, I didn't remember which one. It's the first one. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> it's like having an it's argument like over three ninjas and then an argument. <laughs> no, three ninjas knuckle up. That's the one. Oh no no no! no. It's not. So no. three ninjas on Magic Mountain, whatever. That yeah, some Hogan, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a question for you guys. All right, let's play. Let's play some. Box office guessing here. Uh-oh. So this movie was made for two point three million dollars. Mm. Let's uh let's do prices right rules. Closest without going over wins. How much do you think it made? Five hundred box 000. office run. Thirty five million dollars. Sean, I'm gonna say thirty six million. Holly, five hundred thousand. I'm going low. Sixty five million. Oh, shut, up! Shit. shut up. Oh, I win. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right rules. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank I you. doff my Thank cap you. to you. This movie was a huge financial success, guys. Huge. Uh, I was gonna say unbelievable. But I'm like, yeah. yeah it seems like unbelievable. Too much. They're Canon's highest Damn. grossing uh, film of the year. Wow. wow. Mm-hmm. Was this like one of the. F- what was. Uh, because Over the Top is still a Warner Brothers movie, right? But we had established before that so. Breakin was the last one that they did with MGM. Mm-hmm. This wasn't the first movie with a Canon logo on it, was it? No, because yeah. missing an this action is, movie. This is after all this. these. This is after Breakin and after Over yeah. the Top. So this is late in Canon. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. they were about to go under like four years after this. So yeah. <laughs> they're always in a this is state, one of, state of yeah, going under. Yeah. Shows Constantly. you what good yeah. John Claude Van Damme did for him. Mm-hmm. Didn't have mm-hmm. that sweet, sweet Chuck Norris money rolling in. Uh, oh, they did, but. <laughs> If Charles Bronson kept that fucking studio uh, uh, alive, afloat. Yeah, yeah. Afloat. Stallone's budget for Over the Top was like ten times what this movie's budget was. Yeah, I just Stallone's pay for Over the Top was. Yeah, well, we should probably uh, save some then come back for our wrap ups, where we'll tell all of you what we thought of Bloodsport and whether you should watch it or not. But first, we're going to answer some viewer mail. So we're going to summon our mailman. Igor, where are you, sir? Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Uh, so if you want to get a hold of us, you can reach us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram, uh, Saturday Night Freak Show. And tonight, Ryan Keith writes in about Bloodsport, says, this is my favorite martial arts movie, and I used to watch it before all of my tournaments I went to. 
Uh, G Money wow. writes in and says, one of the earliest memories I have is watching this movie with my brothers at three. Yeah, Damn. dude. It's now a constant here. reference in every man's circle of friends. Mm-hmm. Every scene is quotable, yeah, and the cool. soundtrack is so awesome. Steal the Night and On My Own are fantastic. Steal the Night. It's up there with Rocky <laughs> Four, which is also a staple no. in my workout it's, mix. It's just not. It <laughs> That's high praise. Rocky Four. <laughs> Jared Corey writes in and says, Bloodsport is awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. It. All right. Tell me that's it. Andrew Vowell says, ah, yeah. yes. Classic. Yeah. The Vintage Shack writes in and says, I wish they would make more kickboxer type movies. I miss them. Agreed. Yeah. They'd make more. Yeah. I, mean, I love there them. Are, I'm sure there are plenty of them. They're just all direct to video at this point. Probably. They're probably not yeah. studio films anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's, uh, they can reach like, a level. Well, they're like, a- the Asian uh, market is still, they're doing martial arts movies yeah. like Hand right. Over Fist. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you'll never Dragon find Dynasty like a, and all that you'll stuff. You'll never find like a major. Uh, you'll never Hollywood see, release yeah, or something like that. You'll never see a leading Hollywood man do them anymore. No, I mean, they, they do because they got to find a guy who comes from the world of martial arts trying to get Jackie movie. Chan. I guess they so. have replaced Jackie they Chan. They still have the fighting movies. Like uh, there was, uh, I mean, there was. I don't know if the not the fighter uh, Warrior. That yeah, was yeah, oh, with Tom no. Hardy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was way back in the day. Warrior, yeah, Warrior, yeah, Warrior, yeah. yeah. great movie. And only God forgives. Yes, but that's, that's a, uh-huh. shut up. But that's a yeah, UFC no. movie. Like, don't watch that for fighting movie. I feel like that's a different kind yeah. of. Yeah, I didn't see it. Like it, yeah. Warrior? Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Awesome, but it's a UFC movie. I think it's yeah, a different, it's a different kind of. But, but I think that's like where we're at now. Like, yeah, we're, definitely. We're yeah. definitely never going to get like a, ooh, in the secret dojo. No, never in again. China. That, oh, that time is going to come together. The Wu Tang Clan, it's the man with the iron fist. Bam! Yeah. It oh, happened. Oh, shit. That's right. He's right. Wait, no. it's the man with the iron fist, too. <laughs> okay, there's. Iron Fister. Yeah. Fister. Yeah. Uh, anyway, back here. Iron Fist here. Back to email. <laughs> yes. Victor Stryker MMA writes in, and he oh, gives Bloodsport four flexed bicep emojis. Ooh, All right. Dog. Did he say four? Out of five or out of ten? Did he give them? I, okay. I, I, saw, I saw him. They were out of five or out of ten? Real, do you say real emojis? I'm going out <laughs> of four, out of right? <laughs> Maybe that's a four four star. A four oh, star rating? Right. Okay, star. all right. And Karate Warrior, Warrior 2 okay. writes in <laughs> and says, I throw out the challenge to the Saturday Night Freak Show crew. Recite your favorite line from Bloodsport, and you better tell, or I better tell you guys to be on your game because the unofficial Saturday Night Freak Show Golden Globus Championship Challenge points are being tracked every episode. Whoa. Shit. Oh, my God. Sean. Pressure's <laughs> on. <laughs> Recite your favorite line from Bloodsport. Favorite lines from Bloodsport. Give me one second. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, I love Wrong! <laughs> Holly! I love no, you. Okay. <laughs> but the fact that it's said to, to Ray Jackson yeah. is why that yeah. I love that line. Yeah. Uh, bricks don't fight back. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I've got a tie. It's gonna be "We Both Grow Children" by Mister <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tanaka. Or um, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Ray Jackson, yeah. talking to Chong Lee. Oh, yeah, that's you know, wonderful. That's, that's good. I'm gonna yeah. stick with the one I did already, which was uh, you. yeah. <laughs> that is. You, I'm gonna fucking you kill you. You break the brick, I break Thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, um, he also poses the question as to why action or martial arts movies haven't worked since the '90s. Is it budget? Trends passing or shit actors? Oh, it's a I trend. I think it was it a, trend a trend for yeah. sure. Trend. Like UFC Very is a trend so. now, and it'll pass. But yeah, yeah. but you got to yeah. watch these fucking financially viable. But there are like uh, Tony Ja mm-hmm. and Iko Iwais from the Raid movies. Like you got to see mm-hmm. the Raid and the Raid Two, and you got to see Ong Bak and the Protector and the Tony Ja movies because you do have to see the Protector. That's a good movie. He's made it now into American films. He's doing the Fast and the Furious movies. He was in Triple yeah. X, the last one. So I mean. He's in Hollywood pictures. Yeah, but he's not mm-hmm. in a... No, he basically yeah. comes in, does yeah. some awesome does ass-kicking things. shit. Because then... the sure, they can't sustain a whole movie of that. That's the thing. We're in this age of CGI and special effects. In, in a movie that's just martial arts, it, audiences aren't as into it, unfortunately. Well, movies are a lot more expensive to yeah. make now than they were... 20 years ago. They're not, yeah. they're not, they're not impressed it. by it anymore. For some I reason. had a intern that was, he was in his uh, late teens, right? Yeah. He was young. And we Boy. showed him like man of steel had just come out. Yeah. And so we were talking about it, you know, and he loved Man of Steel or whatever. He we loved were, Man of Steel. Yeah, okay. we were going off right. about like, how oh. the action and that. <laughs> it's just <laughs> basically yeah. CGI, you know, <laughs> creations throwing each other through buildings and yep. all that. And so we played him a scene from the raid. Yeah. And he was like, 
flabbergasted, you know, it, because mm-hmm. it was like, clearly there's a difference between seeing guys actually yeah. do this shit yeah. and seeing computer generated video game characters be thrown through buildings. It's all yeah. about what the studio is putting in front of the audience now. They're not putting martial arts movies in front of the audience. Right. Mm-hmm. But, but then there's John Wick and there's Atomic Blonde there and there's those, the Bourne right, movies true. and there's true. the James Bond movies. True. And, you know, true. these movies are doing these kind of close quarter. Con- they make it, there. but they're making it sexier. Yeah. And those are significantly smaller budget movies than your Man of Steel, well, yeah. you know. But they like, do huge. I mean, John Wick yeah, 2 was a big yeah. deal because like, the first yeah, one was a surprise movie, yeah. 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 So there's hope. Yeah. Kind of. You just got to go. It's just got a different. It's not. They're just not sports movies. It's not dead. It's just got a different edge. Yeah, Yeah, it's got a different look on top Mm -hmm. of it. Different coat of paint. That's Mm -hmm. it. Same thing underneath. All right. So that's mailbag. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. you. Very good question. Yep. So we'll go around the room and uh, I think so with our final wrap ups. Colin. (laughs) Yes, Sean. What did you think? You jumped right in there, dude. A blood sport. <laughs> I appreciate that. You were on the ball tonight. I'm on it. I'm back. Several I'm on weeks. It. Okay. We it's won't the power of Zima. It Zima. It's the Zima power. Can, Can I get Zima. another beer? Please? Another Zima? Yes, right. you may. <laughs> Grab him a Zima. <laughs> um, Zima. Blood oh. sport is a, uh, I don't know, like, I mean, I can keep this short because it feels like I've been kind of reviewing it. Through the, I mean, we, yeah, we yeah. have. Um, this will be short this week. Van Damme, I don't understand how he had a movie career after this. I mean, I guess he's a martial. He was flexible, um, you know, literally and figuratively. In body and schedule. Yeah. But it's just weird. It's like he's not. I mean, like you had uh, his contemporaries were, you know, obviously the pattern was set by Schwarzenegger and Stallone, who were very like, you know, just brick houses of, you know, mm-hmm. uh, these titanic action heroes. And then you had like the second stringers. Which were your Van Dams, your Steven Seagal's, mm. you know? Again, I don't understand how he had a movie career because he has the, you know, like uh, peel of uh, the range can of, of a paint. Peanut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's a fun, of all of them. Like that's the guy I'd be afraid of that would kill you. Is Steven Seagal? Like, yeah. Steven Seagal oh, is terrifying. a fucking killer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a keto or whatever he's, he's got there. And like, yeah, <laughs> that guy could knock you dead. Like before yeah. you'd even know what the hell was happening. Um, yeah. And then, like, Don the Dragon Wilson and Jeff Speakman got his own movies and Cynthia Rothrock, you know, I mean, like, so there was this kind of, yeah, pattern of people who were doing these type of movies. And Van Damme is like, I mean, he got lucky that he worked his way through the canon, you know, grist mill for three films, got his break with Universal. And I think probably it was like Universal Soldier was the, you know, like his big moment. And I don't know if he capitalized on it because it seemed like, you know, what do you do really after that? I mean, there was five one more with, uh, Universal Soldier movies <laughs> over the course of 30 years or yeah. whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, but there was I mean, he did the John Woo movie Hard Target. But like the fact that I said the name and you guys were like, huh? like, it's a John Woo movie yeah. and nobody knows it. And it's I, got hard John Target, Claude was, Van Damme more, in it. It was more the hard to kill uh, Steven Seagal. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was my yeah, era. Hard right. Target's like hard the most kill. dangerous hard game. Kill. That's a, I like that movie. It's a I good love movie. that movie. It's got, uh, what's her name? I think. In Kelly LeBron. Yeah, Kelly LeBron. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, so I guess I don't get the appeal necessarily of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Although I did hear that this movie is Donald Trump's favorite movie. Our president uh, loves this movie. That so makes made, it the most American movie ever, then, right? I think so. Ever. The, the story that I read was that uh, he was on a pl- There was a journalist that was following him. I think this is maybe it's on the campaign. It's also the only movie he's ever seen. Yeah. Or, but no, there was, there was something else. that they, they had an option to watch, and he shut it off. And the plane was landing in like 40 minutes. And he wanted to put on his favorite movie. And so the journalist is like, what's this going to be? And it was Bloodsport. He gives the remote control to his 13-year-old kid. And basically, the kid's goal was to edit the movie down with the mer- with the fast forward button. So it would be over by the time they landed. So to make an hour. That's not hard to do. Movie, There's a lot you can cut out of this movie. I agree. Yeah, all yeah, fight scenes. Easy to so, do. I mean, no, not, don't probably, cut out the fight scenes. Just watch <laughs> just, the fight. Yeah. Fast forward to the fight scenes yeah. and play. Um, they they, they padded it out to hit that ninety minutes. <laughs> I think so you know, yeah, yeah. So the action that we're saying that you're here for is not well choreographed at all. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of it's I think badly written. The dialogue, everything's paper thin, ham fisted. Mm-hmm. It does have an amusement on that end where it's f- unintentionally funny. You know, we had fun watching it, I yeah, think, for sure. and, and mm-hmm. ripping into it. But I mean, like, would you go off and watch the thing by yourself? I mean, again, you know, we got 
comments of people who, you know, consider these to be, you know, maybe it was just when you saw it. I mean, I don't know. That's the thing. Is it, I, This is the first we, time we I've always, seen it. We always have to ask the question, is it nostalgia? So... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think that I can actually say go watch this movie. I mean, I'm curious about Kickboxer. I mean, but how to, could it be different to the? Yeah, mm. to the. I assume that right. It's a better version of Bloodsport. You uh, assume. Or a worse version. Of <laughs> but yeah. it could be. But now after you've seen Bloodsport, you're like, well, fuck! I don't want to see another one of these no. goddamn movies. And, you know, because I mean, I was you know talking about Cyborg earlier. It's you a were. piece of shit. You talk about Cyborg. A lot. <laughs> yeah. It is a piece of shit. It's cyborg and hardware. You got yeah. a thing. There's yeah, but like Cyborg has no money. They're basically like out somewhere in an industrial park making a movie, and the evil surfer, one of the evil surfers from Point Break, <laughs> I'm sorry, puts on no. some shades, and he's the futuristic bad guy, Vincent Clint. That yeah, in the movie Cyborg with Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh yeah, boy, yeah, it's terrible. It's- so. I think I would. It's a marginal pass, right? It's not a hard pass. It's a marginal pass, but I think uh, you could skip right the hell on over Bloodsport. Sean, what did you think of Bloodsport? Oh, Bloodsport. Um, I think, like you said, Colin, I think it's amusing. Uh, it's amusing in most parts, but that's because, you know, just the eyes we're looking at it now, how it takes itself so very seriously, but I don't think that seriousness that they made it with holds up to I mean modern audiences today and I think anybody who can still look at it is it's just I think like you said the nostalgia mm-hmm. is holding so. it up for a lot of people because it's it's uh, very ridiculous like I mean the whole reason it's a movie called Blood Sports so when we're watching what is supposed <laughs> to be the action scenes like I want some I want some damn action scenes and I didn't quite get them with this movie for the reasons we discussed you know you don't see there's no really impact I don't think anybody's getting hurt it doesn't raise the stakes at all in this movie uh, Ray Jackson should have died at that part because I mean God you know they didn't come back for the sequel so what's he sticking around for he should have he should have died and then he should have gone off with the girl instead of him and Ray Jackson getting together and being best friends for the rest of their lives. So, I mean, there's missed opportunities in the script um, and the action's not quite um, it's not quite great. I do like some of these uh, characters as, you know, limited as they are. Um, uh, Bolo, I just I, I like him he no matter what. He's got the presence yeah. and he's just that fucking face when he's screaming. Yeah. It's just, he's a scary man. Yeah, yeah. I like he's him. He's a good villain. He is a good, he is villain. A good villain. He does yeah. very good as a villain. And I mean, limited dialogue, but it doesn't matter. He just got that look, and you know, he, he could probably speak. Kill, no, he could probably kill someone. I feel um, like I feel like filming this. He was just like motherfuckers. I didn't enter the dragon. <laughs> I mean, like, probably. do you think? He, I bet he was one of those asshole actors that was like in character, mm. even like when he wasn't filming. Probably just you an know, like yeah. No. Stealing people's shit off their heads. Like how you hear about how Jared Leto was like in character and like just a dick to everyone during Suicide Squad. Yeah. I imagine that's what this guy was like on the set of Bloodsport. Probably. Um, and while it is amusing to watch for the wrong reasons, eh, I don't like Collins. I don't think you can just go off and watch this by yourself. Not for me. Unless you have a nostalgia attached to it. Um, uh, I'm going to pass on Bloodsport tonight. Not quite enough there for me. Yeah. Um. You know, I watched this great. I have an older brother, and so my most of my movie choices growing up were because it's forced what, upon you. It's what he told me to watch. Um, but so I, I, I grew up watching this movie. Um, I had not seen it as an adult, and my memory of it was very different. Um, yeah, I did not love it as much as when I was a kid this time around. Um, I think. I think everyone has has totally nailed the fact that it's a shit script. There's so many missed opportunities here. Um, I, I mean, I I feel like I can't really expect much more as far as like a script with this kind of movie. It's it is what it is. Um, but it it could have been better. It is it could have been better because we've seen this movie done by Jean Claude Van Damme better multiple times <laughs> by many that, other people. By multiple other times, yeah, done yeah. much better. Yeah. So I mean. And but you you watch a movie like this for the martial arts. You want those fight scenes. You want the epic battles. You want this tournament to be huge and to be epic. And it's just not. It's just flat. And I mean, it's not. It's not boring. Like I wasn't sitting there just like, oh, will this movie end already? Like it's 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 fun, but it definitely leaves you. No, Unsat. You're not satisfied. There's no rhythm to there's those no fight rhythm. scenes. There's, there's no, no rhythm. There's no like it doesn't like start and crescendo. Yeah, they, there's no rhythm. They're to choreographed, it. but they don't flow. Yeah, is what it is. And 
Um, so yeah, you're, it's you no don't. Karate kid. It is no karate kid. That's you're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I out of all the Van Damme movies that I've, I've seen, I would say that this one is definitely not the strongest. I recommend I recommend watching it if you're watching the entire catalog of Van Damme. But if you don't really need to see all of his work, you could probably pass up this one and move on to a better one because he does have better movies. So I would say. I can't honestly fully recommend Bloodsport. There you go. So this uh, is definitely not the best uh, of the canon films, and definitely not the best one we watched. But JCVD is like one of those those like if you're if you have your Mount Rushmore of canon films, you know you've got <laughs> you've got Chuck Norris, you've got Charles Bronson, you've got Jean Claude Van Damme, and maybe Seagal. Like he did a few, but not very many. Uh, yeah, did he it? did like one or two. You put Stallone. Uh, there. Stallone, Stallone, Stallone in there. Stallone. Stallone. Yeah, Stallone. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Stallone for then. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for his two I think movies. He yeah, earned yeah. that face on that mountain. <laughs> yeah, with those two. So movies. That, you know, JCVD is definitely one of your one of your Mount Rushmores of canon. But as far as like this movie goes, it's not perfect. We've addressed a lot of the problems with it. You've seen this movie a million times, done better and done mm-hmm. in different ways. For me, I like it for like the character study. Like I like the fucking spider monkey fighter. <laughs> I like Ray Jackson as a character. I think Ray Jackson, like I just want to see a Ray Jackson movie. Like I want to see his origin story and how he got to Kumite. Um, I, I like Bolo Young a lot. I think he's a great yeah. villain. I love the scene in this movie. We, we, we didn't touch on it earlier, but we all like reacted when we saw it when we were watching is that there's a part where JCVD is like on the bus in Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and, oh, and yeah. he looks out the window and he thinks he sees the reflection of Bull Young in the window and he like ah like he has a reaction like it's so good. See, and like right. you know that's how Bull Young is he's such a like he's Give got such a menacing eye. face yeah he's got the crazy eyes and the menacing yeah. face oh, that like wonderful. even if you saw his reflection in the bus you'd freak out yeah so this movie's not perfect it's not the best canon film but if you're gonna watch like a history of canon films this is a notable like stop along the way in the timeline Absolutely. of canon films um, so, I mean, if you love martial arts movies and you're a purist of those, don't watch it because you'll hate this movie. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you will hate everything about this movie if you're, if you're like, have really refined taste in martial arts movies. But if you like some, like, really ridiculous, you know, finagling of storyline to get people to certain places and, you know, you just like the badness of 80s canon films, this is a great watch. But beyond that, it's, it's not worth much else. So mm-hmm. I would recommend it with caveats. <laughs> Have we all seen JCVD, the movie? I have not. No, no I have not. JCVD. Nope. Really? Mm-hmm. No. You know what it's about, though, right? Isn't it? He's him, but he's in yeah, like, he plays a hostage himself. situation. Later day, and like his career's gone to yeah. shit, and he gets taken hostage. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he and kicks one a cigarette point, out of dude's mouth. But at one point, he has to make this like confession to the camera. <laughs> about like his entire career and how he would have done stuff better. Really? You know, or, yeah. And it's like... I don't know, not necessarily heartbreaking. I think that's what he's going but for. It's, a little sad. it's very honest, but like too honest. It's a little sad. Very like, oh, no, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see <laughs> that. Yeah, that's but this, depressing. It won him a number of uh, rave reviews because it was like, yeah. you know, it goes beyond acting. It's like yeah. that was like it was a, a look into yeah. someone's yeah. soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 confession. No, yeah. He was nominated for Raspberry for this for Bloodsport for for worst new actor. I mean, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, he didn't yeah. win, but yeah, he was nominated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Earned. Uh, you can earn that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that's Bloodsport on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by... Colin! I knew it. <laughs> no point. You I knew it, it this time. I had to do the math while she was talking. Like, all right, Wait, Holly just so, went. Yeah. Michaela's going. Yeah. It's not me. Colin! <laughs> uh, next week, we're going we're gonna to sleep all day. We're going to party all night. We're going to remember what it's like to be one of the lost boys. Oh! The 30th anniversary. Yes. Summertime is finally here. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark.